Welcome to Ozeki's How to Develop SIPPBX with Ozeki VoIP SDK Tutorial Part 3. In this video I will show you how to record and save our calls, which is important when we want to listen again our conversations. And I will demonstrate to you how to make a virtual extension, but we don't need to register in our system, we can call it anyway. Let's start with the call recording option. Add a new class to our project. In my example, it will be called recording. Add the media handlers, the session and the event args using lines to the class. We need an I session type and a wave stream recorder type variable, which is used for record and save our conversations into a wave file. In the constructor, we need to set up the file name of the record and set the wave recorder object, which is using this file name. Start the streaming and connect an audio receiver to our session. In the close method, we need to disconnect the receiving and call a wave recorder dispose method. In the PBX class, we need an icon manager type and a dictionary type variable for recordings. In the onStart method, we need to handle the events session created and session closed. These are for build up and finish a call between two parties. and the same way in the onstop method. The only difference is in the operators. We use minus equal operator in this method. We didn't create these parts yet, so we need to generate them. Make the session closed and the session created methods. In the session closed part, we have to remove this recording from our recording dictionary if this dictionary contains the session ID. And we need to close the recording. Write on the console the important information. Session closed. Who was the caller and who was the callee? The session created method is very similar. Make a recording object and add this recording to the dictionary. We finish the coding of the core recording. Let's continue with making our virtual extension. Make a new class and name it for example virtual extension. Add the following using lines. The PBX, the extensions and the services. 
our class will use the methods and parts of the I extension interface. Make an IPBX call factory variable to manufacture the calls. And set this in the constructor. Use the account part of the interface and make an account in the constructor with display name, username and the domain. The phone number of this extension will be equal with the username. Make a public ISIP call return time function named onCalled. We will use this method when our virtual extension has an incoming call. Make a call handler type object. But we don't have this class yet, so generate this class. We will handle the actual incoming calls with this class. The using lines are the VoIP, the phone calls, the extensions, the services, the media and the media handlers. And the variable types are the text-to-speech, the media connector, the phone call audio sender, the iCall, the IPBX call factory and the extensions. Set the extension and the PBX call factory in the constructor. Create the IPBX call type create call function. The PBX call will be equal with the created incoming PBX call. And the call will be equal with the PBX call. Set the phone call audio sender, the text to speech, and the media connector objects. We connect the surf's text to speech with the phone call audio sender destiny via the media connector. We attach to the call the phone call audio sender. Make a call state changing and return with the PBX call. Make the call state change method. If our item is ringing, then accept the call. As if we are in the answered call state, then we add and start our message. Hello, I am the user 300. Now let's get back to the extension class. Set the parameters in the call handler. and return with the created call. Implement the other parts of the I extension interface, the send message and the type. In the PBX, make an init extension method call into the onStart and create this method. In this method, we add our virtual extension to the extension container. Finally, we finish the coding of our virtual extension example. Now run the application and open a soft phone demo. I register the user 100 and we can call the user 300 easily. Hello, I am the user 300. You heard the message what we set in our source code. And we can find the record file in our project library. Play it. Hello. Hello. I am the user 300. We finished the third video of how to develop SIP PBX with Ozeki VoIP SDK. For more information, please visit www.voip hyphen sip hyphen sdk dot com and you can contact us at info at voip hyphen sip hyphen sdk dot com 
Thank you for watching.